Hey guys, it's LL Rybun here, and today we're going to be tackling the gambling system of Heroes of Hammerwatch. Uh, someone requested this in the comments uh, to see my sheet, but unfortunately I didn't have it. So what I went and did was I quickly went and ran a run on my thief to generate some more ore, and therefore be able to convert it so that we can run these card flippings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my very best to flip 10 of each thing uh, like in each profile keep track of what was uh, what the two cards were and whether I lost or won um, I'm going to do this all in a sheets document and I will be posting the link to that in the description below um, I'm going to do this on four profiles uh, 10 runs for each um, each limit type uh, so without further ado Uh, just from doing this very quickly, I've realized that this is going to go incredibly slow on in the video if I show the footage of me actually rolling the cards. Uh, so I'm going to do that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them in rapid succession. I'll do 10, 10, 10. I'll just go through all 10 and then I'll look over the video footage and then I'll report back in the document. Um, the other thing I'll do which I should specify now, because I know you guys may be like, well, if you do 500s first and then a thousands, and then you go and do 500 first and then a thousands, of course it's going to be the same. What I'll do the first time is I'll do 500s, then I'll do 1000s, I'll go down, then the next time I'll go down from here, and then I'll do alternating where I go like 5,000, 1,000, 10,000, 500, 100,000, just to clear up any doubts you guys may have. Um, in that regard, I will start just rolling now. All right, now we only have two runs for two for a million, assuming I win or lose. And that's that. So that's game save one. I'll report to you in just a second. All right, guys, on to profile two. Uh, this time we're going to be doing the same thing, but in reverse order. Uh, afterwards, we're going to do something uh, where we go back and forth. So we start in the middle, go up, go down, go up, go down. And then lastly, on the last run, because we'll be doing four, uh, We'll take it from the top to the bottom again, but on a different character just to make sure there's no difference there. All right, without further ado, here we go. Also, I will be doing 1 million last because I do need to gain money to do more than one try, so. Okay, that is officially the end of save two. And as you could see, this exactly mirrored it, even though we went from opposite directions. Therefore, the order in which you do it does not matter. It's based on the rows. 
or at least so we think. So we'll do an oscillating pattern this time, going from 5,000 to 1,000 to 10,000 to 500 to 100,000 in the next one. And there it is. And this run with the oscillating pattern also proved to be the exact same as the other two runs. So that's save three done. Let's go ahead and get right to save four. And as you can see, this one too was exactly mirrored to the other ones. Um, we'll be going over the document in a second. Uh, I'll get, I'll go and type all this stuff up, check over the video footage, make sure this really is true. And I'll get right back to you guys. And here we've got the document. How you read this is uh, we've got our four saves. These are the cards that were pulled um, on each attempt, one, two, three, four, five, you know, first, second, third, whatever, right? And then here are the results of the differences between the two of them. And as you can see, I'm sure just by looking at the colors of everything, turns out the saves do not matter. Uh, no matter what you do, whether you start from top to bottom, whether you oscillate, whether you do it on a different character, as long as it's on the same profile, you're going to get the exact same results when you do gambling. I'm not sure whether this is something that is determined at the start of the game. If it's, uh, I'm a computer science major, and from my perspective, what I'm assuming this is, is just when the game starts, you're given some arbitrary array of uh, cards that you'll pull, and that determines whether you win or not, and that's just there, assigned to your profile. Uh, it's not up to luck at all. Uh, you can do stuff like this to figure out, like if you look at my 10,000s, you can see there's a very clear win right here where I could just stop here and make tons of profit. You could you know, analyze this type of stuff and know when you're gonna start to lose all your money. Um, that's the advantage of this. The disadvantage of this is there's no way to play with the systems that you get maximum benefits by saving your profile and cloning it and running it and see what your most profits are and go from there. Um, I hope you guys found this video uh, both entertaining and informative. It took quite a bit of time to go through and watch the videos and count all the things and make sure they're all right. I may have made a typo in the document i don't believe so but there could be one here or there in terms of what the cards numbers were uh please feel free to let me know if that is the case uh but i hope this was very informative to you guys on how gambling works and here's a hammer watch it's predetermined but it's not predetermined as you could see based on what value or what what you run so if you do 500s first and then you do, and you say, oh, okay, I'm gonna lose like this pattern. And then uh, the second time I went through and did 100,000s first, and it's a completely different pattern of the win-loss.
because it's not based on which one you do first or whatever. You can't you can't roll five hundreds and say, okay, now I'm gonna roll ten thousands. I have a better chance of winning. It's it's an array for each and every value of the gambler that just is followed. Um, so you can look and it's it's exactly the same. Um, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. I put some amount of time into this that I normally feel like I don't put as much time into videos, but I'm trying to make better content for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this. Uh, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or anything else you'd like me to see. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.